Now we're going to show you the inverse square law. And the reason that we're doing this demonstration in the OR is because we wanted to do it with the C arm. And the reason that we're doing it with the C arm is because there's no lead hanging to protect you like there are in almost every, you know, in every R and F room there is for sure. And in the cath labs and in interventional rooms, they have different kinds of leads that can be put up so that you have a second, uh, you know, way to be protected. Here in the OR, this baby is it. So this is why we really wanted to show it to you here. So what we're going to do is, as you can see the setup, we have it as a lateral lumbar. Here is the ion chamber. Here's the dosimeter. And we're going to just make an exposure at two foot. We're going to move it back here to four foot. And then we're going to move it back to eight foot. And we're just going to show you how the dose changes as you go from two to four to eight. So here we go with the first exposure. We're set up um, with a digital spot. And so the reason we did that is so that all three exposures will be identical and I won't have to worry about, you know, did I make the same exposure for each one. So, of course, since I am only protected by this, distance is your next best friend and I'm moving back as far as I can get away and we'll go ahead and make that exposure now. And now let's see what our dose is. So, we're at 0.428 millirankin. So 0.428 MR. You can see that's quite a dose, but it's also you know, pretty close. On the other hand, you can see that you know, surgeons and everybody are closer than that. As a radiographer, you almost always get to be further away than that. But now we're going to move to four feet, and we'll see how it changes. So we're going to go ahead and start moving back to four feet now. So we've moved it back here to four feet. So we're centering you know, from the center of the phantom to the edge of the ion chamber. We got our four feet. And uh, now we're going to, and I also wanted to mention that the center of the ion chamber is also even with the center of the phantom. So that we're just keeping everything just on the same even playing ground there. So I'm going to go ahead and reset my ion chamber and move back out of the way as far as I can get. And we'll go ahead and make that second exposure now. And our dose now is 119 micro R. So 119 micro R. Now, I'm not expecting you to remember the numbers between these three exposures. You know, I don't even remember what the first one was you know, anymore anyway. So we're going to have a slide. And that slide will have all three of the exposures and the exact percentage differences between the two foot, the four foot, and the eight foot. So now we're going to go ahead and get set up at eight foot. OK, so before we go to eight feet, we just decided that every two feet off would be even better. So instead of just going from four to eight, we decided to do a six foot. So we're set up right now at six feet. And I'm going to go ahead and just reset the dosimeter, hide myself back here in the corner. And here we are, ready for the next exposure. And the dose is 50.3 micro R. So 50.3 micro R. And now we're going to go ahead and set up at 8 feet. All right, so here we are now at 8 feet away. And you can see that, you know, 8 feet away, you're not going to ever be doing a case and being 8 feet away unless you really can use one of these and get yourself back there, in which case you'd love to do that. A lot of times you have to be closer to the C arm because you're actually moving it around and stuff like that. But this will be perfect to show you how the dose has just decreased amazingly when you can get this far away. So I'm going to go ahead and reset the dosimeter, hide my little corner. And we'll make that last exposure right now. All right, so let's go ahead and look at that number. And it's 28.9 micro R. So you can see that the difference is unbelievable. We, had, we started with 0.428 MR, which is millirankins, and now we're down at 28.9 micro R. So, of course, we don't expect you to remember all these numbers, and we're going to have that slide like we told you about that will really show you how much difference we got every two feet, which is just the, you know, to totally prove to you that whenever you can, don't be here be here. And if you can be here, 
it's still way better. And if you can be here, it's even better. Every foot you can go, you're saving yourself so much dose that that is the thing you always want to be doing. So we wanted to just show you this little chart just to kind of go over in your mind of how it all works. So when, when you double the distance, you're going to be one-fourth of the dose. When you triple the distance, it's going to be one-ninth of the dose. And when you quadruple it, you're going to be one-sixteenth. So here are the numbers that we had in the room. At two feet, which was our starting point or our base, it was 0.428 MR. When we doubled that to four feet, it dropped down to 119 UR, which, you know, again, should have been a quarter, right? Well, you can see that the dose decreased to 27.8%. So we were only 2.8% off of being exactly what it should have been. When we went to six feet, which is a third, we now had 50.3 UR. So the dose decreased to 11.7%. Now, it should have been 11.1 .1 would have been the perfect one-ninth, so we were only off by 0.6%. And then finally, we went out to 8 feet, and that was 28.0 UR, and so it should have been a 16th. The dose decreased to 6.7. So the perfect would have been a 6.2, so we were only off by 0.5. So you can see how close it works, you know? The inverse square law really works. If you want to save yourself dose, anytime you can get back and get more distance, that is the dream. If you can double your distance, you've cut the dose to yourself in a quarter.